Tiny Tina, one of the uh, most, it's hard to say that she's a crazy character because like every character in Borderlands is like insane, right. but uh, give us a little rundown of, uh, of Tina and kind of how you came up with that voice. Uh, so Tina is based on a friend of uh, mine and Anthony's named Christina, who is actually insane. And uh, so... <laughs> is she flattered or does she take offense by that? Oh, she thinks it's awesome. Okay. Yeah, she, she loves it. She's, she's one of the weirder people that we've ever met. We love her. Um, so it's kind of a mixture of her and then just sort of uh, the way that Anthony and I are goofy with each other and like uh, the humor that we share. We, I kind of just injected Tina with a bunch of that. And um, yeah, and the voice is something that I've kind of been doing just when I like uh, it's funny because I when I if I feel like weird or whatever I'll kind of do like a Tina voice it's just kind of a voice that I've always kind of had and I just applied it to her so I imagine you in the studio and your brother is out there listening to you uh -huh. does it make you more relaxed that you have a family member listening to you or does it make you more nervous I feel like if my brother was there I'd be like more nervous to open up I don't know I was initially pretty nervous well it was also my first real acting gigs mm -hmm. or not well voice acting gig and uh, and so initially I was nervous but now it's great because I um uh, if I mess up, then he just tells me that straight up, and uh, <laughs> that was horrible doing it. Yeah, pretty much. He's like, "Oh, that was really bad." I'm like, "Ah, thanks, Anthony." Uh, but yeah, so it, it's a lot more comfortable now. Um, and everyone that works at Ogretron and everyone at Gearbox is just really nice. Oh, yeah. So um, yeah, they're really, really sweet and really supportive. Mark's shaking his head now. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a super comfortable environment to just like play and experiment with her. How much do they let you ad lib and kind of just riff? Oh, however much I want. Really? Yeah, Anthony really likes it when actors ad-lib. It's like his favorite thing. Okay. Um, so uh, he really loves hearing how people are going to deliver lines. He's it's, it's fun working with, with him, especially because I think there are some writers that have a very specific thing in mind of how they want you to say the line. And he doesn't. He's just like, oh, this might be crap. I don't know. And then he hears someone say it. And he's like, oh, it's funny. You made it funny. And it's a lot more collaborative. I'm the complete opposite. Like, I love having it. Like, I, I go off the writing. Like, I don't yeah. like ad-libbing as much. Yeah. Uh, just one last question. What other voices do you do in the game? I am uh, primarily Tina, but then I also am the Bane. I'm, I'm, I'm half the Bane. Uh, the, most annoying gun. the most annoying gun. So the laugh is, uh, yeah. is my horrifying voice. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Absolutely. Ashley Birch, uh, Mark Petty, thank you guys for joining me. Tell me your thoughts on these awesome people. Hashtag GameSpot E3. Oh, and feel free to get some crumpets on the way. Crumpets are crumpets.